it's just, it's pretty bad, you know, because they're just shooting up right in front of you. And, you know, I walk around with my mom, my dog, and it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, sometimes you just, you know, I, I'm afraid for my dog stepping on needles most of the times, you know. If I had children, I would never, you know, I, could, I couldn't, I don't think I would live here. Like, a lot of people ask me, why would you open a, you know, a business down here? It's you know, not a desirable place. And I feel like, well, you know, if we're gonna make the neighborhood better, we need to not be afraid and we need to come in and open new places, but we also need help, you know? We are announcing today the formation of a federal initiative called the Federal Initiative for the Tenderloin, or FIT. And the FIT initiative will be focused on uh, the prosecution of all appropriate federal criminal activity with a nexus to the Tenderloin neighborhood here in San Francisco. It is my perception based on the data that the Tenderloin has become a magnet for retail drug trafficking, trafficking to an extraordinary degree. Second, there is a substantial federal presence here in the Tenderloin neighborhood, and I feel that as federal law enforcement, we have a special responsibility for our neighborhood. As many of you know, parts of this great city are now known for what appear to be open-air drug markets filled with crime and addiction. And we have seen, due in part to inaction, the apparent message of tolerance for drug trafficking. We in law enforcement are fighting to change this.